Okay, let's see if I can teach this part a little bit better. Because I'd like to make a video on this. This is a uh, Fab Filter Pro Q advanced level trick. So we got our keys here. And then we got our bells here. Okay, you could probably tell off the rip that these are gonna clash a bit. So what we did is we went and put a instance of Fab Filter Pro Q3 on the keys and we scooped out the lows and the highs like normal. And then we put another instance of Fab EQ3 on the bells, same thing, walk the bam. But this time we're gonna go to the analyzer right here in the pre-post, click that, and we're gonna select the keys one. And now when you hit play on a regular Fab Filter, Without the analyzer and the pre post turned on, you'll see this, right? This gray, purplish waveform. So, when you go to engage this with the keys, what this is doing now is any frequencies that are hitting uh, from the keys in the Bell's Fab Filter Pro Q3 instance. So, you'll see that here, and it looks kind of red. So you see, those, those, that's, that's right there is where my keys are hidden. And if you can see right there, there is a red hue. And that's letting me know, hey, you have some frequencies that are clashing up in here. You should probably do something about that. And so me, I'm going to go ahead and turn it. What, where is it? Like about like right here? Yeah, I see it right here. All this shit right here. We'll go ahead and do that. And then if you really want to get a little saucy with it, say like I wanted to keep like the integrity of the low end, the low mid, I should say, of these bells. What I can do is come over here and just scoop out the mid frequencies. So it's only taking away the middle and leaving all the surrounding frequencies of the bells thus solving our clashing frequency issue so that is how you use the analyzer with the pre-post by fab filter i hope you like my little tutorial subscribe to my channel if you enjoy that shit whoop the bam